So you want to change your ROS server world size or world seed. I'll show you how to do it in this video in just a couple seconds. All you have to do is head over to the ROS server you want to manage, click on the startup tab. So if you scroll down over here, you'll see world size. By default, it's set to 1000. This is what we find as the sweet spot. It doesn't use too much RAM for your server. Um, if you do want to increase it, be warned that it's going to use a lot more RAM because it scales exponentially. So if I set the world size to 1000 by 1000, that's a million square units. And if I set it to 3000 by 3000, that would be 9 million. So it gets a lot bigger, a lot quicker as you go up the scale. But to change this number, all you have to do is select it. Let's say I wanted to change it to 2000. Just type 2000 and then restart the server and the world will regenerate as 2000 by 2000. To change a world seed, it's very similar. All you have to do is scroll down here where it says world seed. You can see by default it's left blank, which means it'll randomly generate a world seed. But for example, if I wanted to set a custom world seed, maybe there's a world that my friend gave me that looked cool, or you found one on websites such as Rust Map, which is a really nice website you can go to. You can customize the specifications for the map and it'll give you a bunch of maps you can use. Then you can just click the map and scroll down over here where it says seed and you can just copy that. You also need to make sure that you match the size. So if I wanted to use this map on my server, which looks like quite a nice map, I just click the seed, head over to world seed, paste that in. And I also want to do 1,500 for world size. So now when I restart the server, my server will be running this exact map.